What's up, fellas? We have a special video for you today. So we're gonna show a full-length infield pull by my business partner, Indian P, from basically the opener to the girl coming over. And I think the fact that it's him makes it more powerful because it's gonna show that a slightly out of shape, bald Indian guy can pull a tall white girl. He's gonna break the whole thing down from start to finish, uh, showing you all the things that was going through his mind and all the lessons that you guys can learn. Enjoy. <laughs> So before I get into this, make sure to like and subscribe to the video uh, and to our channel because we want to we want to keep doing this again and again and I know it's going to help you guys a lot because you want to see us guys in action and you want to learn a lot more and you want to go and interact with women. Okay, so anyway, so I'll get into this infield but a, a little bit of a background. I opened her on the street, we were walking in the opposite directions and the first thing I, that came to my mind was she looked a bit Russian. So that's what I did. So I asked her if she was Russian and uh, she was like, no, I'm not. And she also even, even ca uh, caught me off guard, caught herself off guard. And she was saying like, oh, you, uh, like, you just taught me this is a bit weird and things like that. So I was like, why is it weird? It's super serendipity. Like we had this eye, eye contact moment and of, all of a sudden like it's like we are talking, this is so cool and things like that, right? So I wanted to like reframe it in a way where it's actually like, awesome that we, we just crossed paths, right? So after that, like I was talking for a bit, I was walking walking with her towards the direction she was walking to. And uh, like, yeah, this was this was 20 seconds, 30 seconds into the interaction. So this is how it goes. Wow, you, some, you, you kind of could tell, right? So I do something. I mean, I would hope you do something because- Yeah, yeah, no. So she asked me what I do for business. Date me if you do nothing. No, I'm a sex coach. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I teach men how to be better at pleasing their women in bed, sexually. So how much do you make a year? Wow, is this like a job interview? I, did, I have I not mean, even decided if I want to date you yet. I'm just trying to make conversation here. You literally yeah. turned around in the street. Yeah, you're just my type. Me, you're just so. my type, but you know, this comes, there hey, looks you're first and then personality you next. Like I have to ask you. What you want my... So she asked me what I do for work and I just say that I'm a sex coach. I usually tell girls that I'm a sex and dating coach, but with this, with this girl, I just went the sex coach direction. Um, also, she was asking me like what I, how much I make for a year and things like that, right? Like, so she's gonna keep asking questions like that as if like this is a job interview. So I kind of call that out. You don't want to get into a momentum where you're actually uh, giving her answers for whatever she's asking, right? Like, because it comes across as if you're proving her yourself to her. You don't want to get into a, a place where you're like, you're, you're doing that too much, right? Is that what you want? Yeah, do you have one? Yes, I do. Really? No. Fuck no. Not for dating, okay? What's your name, by the way? Okay, all right. So see, like you see the tonality change. Why? Because I, I, she stopped walking and I could tell she stopped walking because she was interested, right? Her, her, her indicator of interest or whatever, like she was, she was attracted to a point where she wanted to know more about me, right? So that's when you kind of change the tonality as well because it seems like you're in a different place together. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, yeah? Is your name, is your name uh, Senorita? Yes, it is. Okay. That's really My name is you. Senor. My name is. My name is. Nice to meet you. So she did not, she did not want to g give her name for a reason. Like, I mean, for some reason, just girls like to do that. I meet you. You're very friendly. I At first, she was like, you were like, oh, who's this weirdo? And then you're like, okay, I mean, it seems like a you normal made me dude. A fucking crosswalk. Like, what am I supposed to say? Like, I like to go for what I want. I'm just trying to, I, I admire that out of you. Do you live here? So yeah, she was. Uh, so I was like, so I was like, oh yeah, I just wanted to talk. Uh, I, you're, you're like, oh, you think I'm a weird guy, but then all of a sudden, you, you actually think I'm a cool guy, right? So I wanted, to, I want to call that out. Because in her head, I want to reinforce that she now thinks that I'm a decent dude, right? I don't want to want her to think about the emotions she first felt. Obviously, like, you know, you're a random dude who's just, who's just walking up to her and talking to her. Of course, she's going to feel those one of those like negative emotions. So I want to reinforce in her head that, hey, these are the current emotions you're having, right? So it's, that's, that's my kind of way of doing it. I live okay, what are you doing all the way, like 40 miles away? My good friend lives down here, so I see her every once in a while, every two weeks. So I try to come. Is she down. is she like a high school friend? 
she's like a sister. I've known her since she was four. We grew up next door to each other. Did you have like a tree separating the two houses and then you were climbing the branches? Um, pretty much because she literally grew up next door to me and then I just like to do this, right? Like when I'm talking and she's giving me information, I picture it in my head and I narrate that picture. It's just like, because you know, pic pictures create emotions and that's how we communicate with women because they're, they're, they think in terms of pictures as well. And she was like, hey, I'm gonna go have sex with this guy. And I'm like, all right, cool. Like, oh, perfect. Later. And then you're like, oh, send dick. So but back, back story that her friend actually found a guy for the night and she was gonna go have sex with him. So that's why she kind of left this girl alone. <laughs> right that's what you did uh, no i was like <laughs> only if they're good i was how was the junk in the trunk right yeah i was like if it is if it's losing you it's losing me but like oh yeah how sweet that's like that's like you know i don't need to know what's happening down there unless you're happy with it you know what i mean yeah. no, like i don't want to know what are you doing so multiple things mm -hmm. so i you're a crypto queen i did you uh, did you invest in dogecoin unfortunately no i'm just a marketing magician okay so i help a good friend of mine with her social media for her equestrian company mm -hmm. i'm helping That's the restaurant it's a very complicated word yeah i'm helping <laughs> um well you don't even know what equestrian means no not at all hell no <laughs> see uh so some some guys might actually be apologetic about not knowing what the word means but whenever i don't know something or whenever it's like kind of like a weakness kind of thing right I st I'm still, I'm assertive about it. But I'm like, oh, I don't know what that is, right? I just be like, no, I, I don't fucking know what that is, right? I still kind of show that like, oh, I don't fucking know. I don't care, that kind of that kind of attitude. And of course she's laughing because she likes that, right? Hell no. <laughs> what does it mean though? So we have this competition series. Okay. That we do in Naples, Florida. Nice. And I get sponsorships and all that shit for her. Okay, how much do you make a year? Well, I Because you, you asked me that question. <laughs> I make 50 a year okay. from my credit union service organization job because nice. I do training and marketing for a credit union service Okay, That's not a lot. Maybe she should open up an open fan, only fans page. And I train credit unions how to operate the software that their entire institution runs off of. Okay. I, I like that. I how to operate two softwares that two financial institutions offered off of. Well, you said operate 15 times. But yeah, I like that. Um, I'm really glad that you're counting and you haven't literally told me I, I, you've done a year yet. A, a year in uh, what? A year yet. So you haven't told me what you Oh done. yeah, I do. You I do, do 130. Anything other than you thought I was pretty and you got distracted. So you Yeah, I was not checking out your boobs. So, you know, it's, so it you means I'm, I'm actually... I, I know you are checking out my boobs because I'm part of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. Itty so bitty it has to be something. Did you, do you go out the booty? I do have a good butt. But okay. That's good. Not I'm, I'm an ass guy. I'm an ass guy, so oh, that's, that's all that matters. Ass guy, so, uh, sense of humor guy, and I like a girl who's open-minded, adventurous. If you if you notice like how my body language is, it's squared up. My tonality is relaxed. I'm not talking too too fast. Massive eye contact, right? All of that is very important because you want the girl to feel at ease right so that's that's what i like to do in my interactions as well and yeah uh I, this is how i show my standards to women as well like okay i like the ass i like good sense of humor she's got to be open-minded adventurous right she kind of you kind of show that you have standards because that's attractive to a girl if a girl thinks that you're going to fuck anything that moves she's not going to be turned on by it and what have you learned from there to here of me uh so you work in an equestrian club Right, uh, you make 50, 50k a year. Uh, you are, you live in, yeah. and you are visiting a friend. What have you learned about me? I told you a few things. You got it. Ass guy. Ass guy. Yes. Okay. That's the, that's the last thing we spoke about. Just so you know. Never be afraid to challenge a girl. Okay. So that's the last thing she heard about what I said. And she called that out. So, of course, I'm going to call it out. That, sh that was actually the last thing we talked about. Well, I'm going to back first. All right, all right. That is what I have learned. Z to A, right? Listen, I'm just trying to go back to my friend's place and pick up my fucking bag. That's fine. That's fine. So. 
So yeah, I'm, I'm a, just to just to reiterate. So me in the street. Mm -hmm. As you can see that I hold pauses like a lot, right? I don't hold pauses during like the first initial phase of the interaction where I'm still like, you know, she's still not attracted to me. But once she's attracted to me, we're having a regular conversation. I hold a lot of pauses because I want her to fill the gaps, kind of like make her invest and also build that tension. You, you're more asked than to these kind of guys? Yes. And you haven't actually, actually told me what your profession is or what you I do told you. Doing. I told you. I'm a sex coach. You actually I teach. did tell me that. Yeah. Oh, so, ooh, oh, so who's the one who's forgetting, huh? It's me. <laughs> Because I was going to ask you for drinks and take your number so that we can meet another time. Well, I'd love to go for drinks. Where are we going? We're going to Philia in Brickle. I don't know what Brickle means because I'm from Boca and I don't know very often. Brickle is this area. But so yeah, like she, she said that she would love to go for drinks and where are we going, right? Instantly, you have to have an answer with you, right? So I'm always taking my dates to this specific place, which is right next to my building. I just came back from a date too. I took the girl to that place. Uh, so it's like um, you have to have an answer always in your head uh, because you have to always have a game plan. Doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. You just went out to get a number close. And that was like the initial plan too. I just wanted to get the number, show it on the camera. But like she was down to actually get the drinks right then and there, as you will see. And then I decided, okay, cool. I'm going to pull and I'm going to do it on, on the camera. Even though I actually got late that night, I was so tired. I was just not feeling it. But I was like, okay, cool. I'll just do it for the camera. Go for a drink if you're willing to take me. I'm done. Okay. He's right. Your name is. See, like she kind of do, does a flip. She like she's ready to go right then and there for the drinks. But I did not see that right then and there. So I was like, now I'm closing that. I remember. Do you remember my name? No. You you're gonna remember it forever now. You have a code. Yeah, I do. I have like a phone number, which means I have a code. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna text you my name. You can you can tattoo it on your you know forearm. Yeah. So you can I never forget. Well, because like I love giving myself tattoos. I don't have a single tattoo. Do you ever plan to get one? I don't like needles, so probably. Ah. Uh. <laughs> So you're never gonna get the vaccine either. I'll get it if it means a lot to the person. Mm. Oh my wow, so compassionate. Had it. My my parents had it. It's funny enough. So my mom and dad I, had it. I had COVID Same. three weeks ago. I had COVID six months ago. It's like I'm replenishing my antibodies. And it's like one of those things where it's like I believe in vaccines, but at the same time, if I'm young enough, maybe not. That's my phone. Just go get the vaccine, guys. That's my phone. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sending you a message. I like to do this whenever uh, I get a number of the girl, just so that she has the has an has a text as a fresh one from me and a phone call fresh one from me. Missed call. You're from Colorado. No, so when I first moved to the U.S., I stayed there for the first four months, okay. and I got a number there, and then never wanted to change it, you know. Uh, I love skiing, but I'm only a beginner. I have never skied before. Oh, okay. So you're worse than me. See, like, Colorado reminds me of skiing. I'm talking about skiing now. It works out fine. I, I'm and Yeah, like, yeah. It's like you can't okay, even see so snow. Like, I ride horses, and I'm like, I just want to compete on my horses and have a good time. And that's what I pay for. And it's like $2,000 for so we can do that. So. <laughs> Alright, it was nice meeting you. Is yeah. Right, is it? Or whatever. Yeah, let's yeah, grab drinks. Take me for a drink right now. Like right now? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Right. Let's do it. Where are we going? Over there. Okay. Yeah, so like when I was about to say bye, she was like, I would love to grab drinks with you right now, right? So I was like, right now? And she goes, Yeah. I'm like, okay, cool, let's do it. And she goes, Where are we going? And I'm like, right there, right? So always have an answer, like always have a game plan, right? If you if even if you don't know, just pretend like you know. Because if you don't, you're going to lose attraction like this because girls hate timid, hesitation energy. Like huskies? As you can see, she's very fucking hot. And yeah, I love dogs. I have a dog. 
All right. I'm being super small because my mom told me not to bring the big one home. Okay. So you have a Chihuahua? I have a Remington, which is like... Remington sounds like a... a it's not a chihuahua. I don't like chihuahuas. I would rather have a big dog than a little dog, so I have a medium dog. Okay. So you have a medium dog, okay. So when you go to dog shopping, dog clothes shopping, you can just get a medium, medium clothes, right? Yeah, so why not just I feel like showing you a picture is more than a thousand words, right? Okay, yeah, go for it. No news yet, okay? No news yet. See, I also like to sexualize whenever possible, right? Uh, so when she said that she was gonna show a picture of her dog, uh, I'm thinking in terms of like her showing nudes of, of herself to me. Right, I'm like, I'm like, no nudes yet. Kind of like doing a uh, playing too hard get kind of vibe. Ooh, that's <laughs> you can't, you can't walk. Oh, hold on, don't die, don't die, don't die. That'd be rude. That'd be rude if they did that. Yeah, yeah. She was just walking even without looking at the signal. Like, God damn it! I wanted to have a drink with this girl. Fucking keep walking, man. <laughs> I was just texting Alex that I was pulling. Yeah. Is it a llama? Looks like a llama. It could be. Who knows? Motherfucker cut me off earlier. Oh, Not really? Not sure if it's him. Not sure if it's him. But you just want to, like, you know, show your fashionness. Um, cut me off earlier. <laughs> Cause they rolled down their window. I thought he was asking me a question. Nope. Mm -hmm. he just no. cut me oh off. my god. <laughs> All right, over here. Thank you. For do you like wine? I do. Okay. So I'm just seating the pool. I'm I'm kind of uh, painting the picture that we were gonna grab wine and get. I was getting the husky from Alex and saying that husky needs water right so i'm i'm coming up with all of these reasons why we need to go to my place instead of a bar like I, i'm not going to grab a drink at like 2 a.m at a bar uh with a girl i just met like I, i'd rather just leave it for another day if i want to grab drinks with her outside i can have a singular glass after that like half a glass how about that half a glass she was gonna go drive after this, so you know, like she, we don't want her to get too drunk, or like after two to three drinks or something. Just and that's why I suggest like half a glass, one third glass. See, listen, like like in the end, it's the the gla drinking is not the premise, right? The premise is still about like having sex, like ha having a hookup. So it's like the drink is kind of the excuse that she uh, like we go to go back to my place. That's my husky. Yes, it's Rhaegar. So here I just take the I take the dog from Alex. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. He's he's fine. He's fine. So we just uh, paid twenty bucks on that. Yeah. Girl, boy. G uh, boy. Uh, he's gender neutral. You know, he, he prefers to be called dog. Yeah, he, this is actually my roommate. This is a joke I got from Alex. Uh, he's he's just chilling out here. He needs water, so might as well. No, we like to give him mineral water, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Pointing at a puddle and saying that Rhaegar should drink water. No, no, no. <laughs> an animal. It's an animal. He just needs I know, but you know, look at that guy. See, he's a scavenger. He's a oh, definite yes, scavenger. He's a fucking dog, and he's like food. <laughs> As you can see, super boring talk, like just joking gear and there, that's it. Like keeping a very lighthearted vibe. He, he, he just jumped on a rat. Oh, <laughs> but we, I would like to see it personally, but like if he gets... Nah. He's trying to drink those cigars. He's marking his territory, okay? There's a difference. There's a difference. But he has to also drink. So much hair and it's so 
<laughs> I know that's why I'm taking to him to get water. <laughs> so he'll he'll drink his water and we'll sip our half half a glass of wine, one third one third glass of wine. I'm solidifying the pull plan here. I haven't told where we are going yet, like uh, the, my place, right? Uh, that will happen in, in a bit. So how old? Would... No, I like you. Are you into girls? Shall we, shall we go? <laughs> she just goes like, you don't want that. She's super hot. I'm like, no, 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 I like you, right? Kind of qualifying her, right? You don't want you don't want to make a joke there because she's kind of feeling insecure because like the girl was extremely hot the girl who just walked past like this girl was hot too but like she was feeling insecure because this girl just like you know she doesn't have her makeup on and things. A threesome? Is that what you want? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just chill, okay? I also like the way. You have good. You have good genetics. You got the good skin. You got the tight body. So. Yeah, that's what everyone tells me. I'm like, ah, oh, I feel kind of bad. Why? Oh, because it's like, like life is. Like this. Yeah, life is unfair for other people. Is that why? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's fair for you. Like you got the genetics. God gave you the gift. It God take took I away the gift from everyone else. <laughs> How old are you? 28. Okay. Two years younger than me. Hey, same ballpark. Yeah, same ballpark. It's a uh, Fenway Park. Damn, my joke just uh, flew under the water. I don't know what Fenway Park means. But... Fenway Park is uh, the Philadelphia stadium for for baseball. I felt that's what it meant. But like I am also not a sports person. Okay. Mm -hmm. I I mostly watch Indian cricket. What you like cricket? Yeah, Indian cricket. Yeah. Because you're probably from England, slash. No, no, I'm Indian. That's what you said. Yeah, you you're trying to you're slowly you're gradually remembering what I told you. <laughs> Yeah, everything is closed. Yeah, remember it's one almost two a.m. <laughs> I check my time. Did you think it was like ten forty? <laughs> I don't think you can die of driving in, in this fucking state. Okay, yeah. Water, activated charcoal. Activated charcoal is pretty fucking good. Oh, just. Uh, it's a four, it's a three more minute walk. Yes, that's it. That's it. Like that's the that's how you pass a dri driving test too. You just jump over the scooter. Yeah. That's it. Oh, right, cool. Yeah, here's your license. <laughs> so I live, I live, literally half a block from here. Yeah, super, super smart, right? Boom, boom. Just half a glass of wine, you can sober up, and then. Yeah. Where are we going? Straight. Everything is close. We are going to my place. Uh, is that what we're doing? Yeah. That's where we get the wine at this time. So yeah, so I use the excuse that you know, there's not a lot of places open at all, but at like 2 a.m., what place is gonna be open anyway? So I use that as like, you know, the reason why we're going to my place to grab wine. And you can see the tonality, like she's like, oh, is that what we're doing, right? It, it's in a very flirty, flirty manner because she's not gonna be like, she's, she, does, she does not wanna come across as like too easy, right? She just wanna be like, you know, a bit challenging about it, right? So over here, I established a pole and we, st we still continue walking. Like she showed no sign of like, 
oh no, I don't want to go there. Oh no, I don't like, I don't want to go to a stranger's house. No, no concerns, no objections. If anything, she was kind of flirty. So she was very sold on the idea that she wants to come over, right? So yeah, so we keep walking. So we keep walking. So uh, like, uh, this, this is just like very logical pull talk. So I just want to show you guys like, we, we went to my place actually. When you're so I even uh, like just just the last thing you must have heard is that I asked her if she was in a ever in a relationship. I would not recommend asking her that because you know it kind of says the frame that you're looking for a relationship and this is like a hookup thing. It's like a uh, a night night of sex, night of good sex. So the, you don't want to get yourself into a frame where it's like a oh you're looking for a relationship, right? So yeah, so this is where I'm pulling her. Uh, as you can see. We, we kind of get to, we get, we get to my place. Uh, I'm entering my house and yeah, like I'm just doing like, oh yeah, mask, things like that. So yeah, uh, we ended up going back to my place. Uh, so at the house, like I could tell like she still needed a bit of like uh, comfort, getting to know each other, a bit of sexual tension. But like before two hours before that, I had already gotten late. I was way too tired and I wanted to show on camera that, you know, that's, an infield pull can happen. So yeah, that's that's basically the gist of it. Uh, in the end, like she was she was pretty hot, but like she she needed a lot more work. So I was like, you know what, I wanted to go to sleep, and yeah, hence hence I did not close it. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this detailed breakdown narrated in Indian P sexy accent. And aside from just all the practical you know technical knowledge that hopefully this gives, I also hope this video acts as motivation. Because if a balding, skinny, fat Indian guy can pull a tall white girl, the chances are you can as well. And the best way to go about getting started on that is smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, and clicking the bell for notification. In all seriousness, it is important and does allow us to grow the channel and keep making awesome free content for you guys. Let us know in the comments if you enjoyed this breakdown. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.